Welcome everybody, Tim OGH here, and you can see these PlayStation 3 fats here that I've shown in the unboxing video. Alright, these two black ones are the backwards compatible one. This white one is just a regular PlayStation 3 that doesn't play PlayStation 2 games, but it's white. Now I'm going to show you what's wrong with them, even though they say the issues on the sticker or tape right here. So right here, the red light is on. Once we power it on, it immediately, well not immediately, but you can see it flashes yellow and then goes blinking red. It does the same thing for all of these PlayStation 3s, but this takes a little bit of time to go to yellow then red like as you can see right here for this one right here let me show you all right we just moved it over and plugged it in now when we turn this one on oh and this is the backwards compatible one that has this open door let me pair it on and it immediately goes to yellow then blinking red not like this one it stays green for a little bit then it goes yellow then blinking red this is just immediate now let me show you the other one all right we just moved it over and here it is this is the other backwards compatible one but this one does not have the open door but the thing with this is is that with this it does have the capa capability with those memory slots but Sony decided not to add it for some reason all right let me turn this on also immediate sometimes it's immediate and sometimes it isn't So, the white one and the top black one has a higher chance of getting repaired outside of this one. This has a lower chance of getting repaired. So yeah, the best way to determine the issue and the best way to go about fixing it is using a Syscon to get the proper diagnostics so you can uh, track down the issue so you can repair that. I'm just gonna do the most common way and is replace uh, one by one the What do you call it? the neck tokens and replacing it with these uh, Tantalum caps right here capacitors That's all I'll be doing and seeing if that will fix it and if not then at the moment, they will be unfixable. So yeah, we'll be focusing on this white one. These two black ones will be some other time, but focusing on the white one. All right, now I'm not gonna show it on video, but I will open this up right now. All right, so I pulled out the disc drive, right? And when I shake this thing, it sounds like something is broken inside. It sounds like something is broken inside, so. I'm gonna open up this disk drive and see what's up. So far, it looks fine. I don't see any issues with it. Let's just get back to the console itself. So here is the motherboard right here. And you can see the neck tokens right here. And when we flip it over, You can see the other four neck tokens right here. So yeah, I'll just be removing one and replacing it with four tantalum caps right there. And then see if that works. If it doesn't, then I'll just keep going one by one. But I'll do it on this side first. So like I'll start with this one or this one. Either or. And yeah. 
Okay, here it is. As you can see, if you can focus, as you can see, the cap is removed and replaced with these four capacitors here. So let's put this back together far enough to test and see the results. All right, it is back together far enough to test. Let's see if this will explode. We got the red light. We got the screen on right here. Will we still get the blinking red light? Which shows up yellow, then blinking red. Let's see. There we go, it didn't explode and it is now fixed. As you can see, no more yellow light, but nothing's displaying on screen because there is no hard drive inside. There you go, there you go. It now works perfectly fine with no issues. Wow, ain't that something. And as you can see, it is Japan import because you can see all this kanji here. But yeah, well, now I can put this all back together and call it. But yeah, like I said, if your PlayStation 3 has a blinking, uh, turns on, but has a yellow light, then starts blinking red, that uh, has, it tells you that there's a hardware failure. But before doing any repairs, you should always do a syscon on your PlayStation 3 and, and pinpoint the exact location of the issue. I just took care of the common issue that the yellow light would be caused by, and that would be the RTX side on the... what, are, what is that thing called? What is that thing called? Uh, neck token, right? So yeah, I just took care of the common issue for that, and there you go. It was actually, oops, it was actually the common issue. So yeah, there you go. Works fine. So yeah, if you guys like this video, thumbs it up, comment down below if you dislike this video. I'll do the same thing with the backwards compatible PlayStation 3s, and if, it, if that works, then yeah. Because now here's the thing, like I said before. If you turn on your PlayStation 3, and if it's green for a little bit, then does the blue, not blue, then it does the yellow, then blinking, that will tell you that there's something up with that. But if it's a quick, immediate yellow, then blinking red, then that'll be something further. So yeah, if you guys like this video, thumbs it up, comment down below if you dislike this video, and I'll see you guys in the next videos. Peace out.